I've just rocked up to the CJ factory, and mate, I got I, I got to show you guys what goes what goes on in the factory here because this place is cool. There's a boat over here. You've got to have a look at this boat. So they've got all the stuff that's sitting on my trailer, all those little things that um, I helped uh, Troy from CJ design and, and put together so that, you know, we can use, be useful out in the bush. It's all on these trailers now. So he's using the ideas that we, or I suppose the uh, research that we do out in the bush to make his trailers even better. So in my trailer now, which has done two seasons up in the Kimberley, um, Arnhem Land, Cape, no, I hadn't been to the Cape yet, but it's been to Arnhem Land and the Gulf Country. And I'll tell you what, she's one tough bit of gear. And this is a pretty nice boat too, and I'll show you this one, show you what it looks like. Yeah, it's got the electrics hanging off it. Electric motor. The size of the off-road tyres. Mate, that is some serious electronics sitting there. What an awesome top-end boat. Now I want to go and show you is you've got to have a look at this. You've got to have a look at the way they make those little tinnies that we use. So if you have a look here, it's a bit hard to hear because it's pretty noisy. They've got the router cutter cutting out the parts for the little tinnies. If you have a look over here, we've got all the little tinnies lined up. These are the, uh, what they call the press boats. There's a little tinny there. A 375. That's a V-nose, that one. So you can see see the bare bones of the tinny sitting there. So this is just the skin, the outer skin. And they've now got to put the frames, the keels in place. All the uh, gunnels are in there and they just got to put the frames inside. And then they'll put the seats in and all the foam and that sort of stuff. So that's what a tinny looks like when it's, when it's being formed up. And we've got an old mate over here on the welder, doing a bit of welding. Yeah, that's some pretty neat work there, mate. You've done a good job there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very cool. So what he's doing is he's welding the transom in and he's TIG welding that in so he can make sure that it's 100% watertight. So that's the important bit, isn't it? That's penetration. Well, there you go. He said it needs a bit of penetration. Well, here we are. We're in, we're in the other shed now. So we've moved across from where they're welding. They do a bit of welding in here, but this is where they start to do the finishing off process. So if you have a look at this one, they're starting to put the front section in where the floors go in. We've got some side pockets and stuff like that. Oh, here's a nice little boat over here. Oh, that's a nice one too. There's some good boats in here. Look at this one. This is a pretty cool looking boat. This looks like a little center console. So it looks like a straight-sided center console with a, what they call a press bottom. Now we're getting over to the paint stage. So this is the paint bay. And this boat here, this is a big plate boat. This is one of their extreme plate boats. This one looks to be about, I reckon, seven and a half, seven and a half metre. It's a bloody good looking boat and it's ready to be painted. This is where all the paint gets done. There you go, that thing looks like it's just freshly been painted. So now, I'll strip that, get all, the, um, get all the sticky tape off and all that sort of stuff, all the masking tape, and then they'll start to fit it out. Carpet, you know, all the carpet, the flooring, all that sort of stuff, so she becomes a finished product. So here we go, we're coming into the yard now, and this is where the finished product sits, waiting to go on the truck and out to the yards, Australia-wide. Have a look at that. Big rack of them. I know, ever since I was a kid, and I, I'm from Bundaberg, ever since I was a kid, I remember the brand CJ when, uh, when they first started it. I was an apprentice myself, actually, and I remember that brand when they first started at Race Goals Marine. And it's a family-owned business, and they make a damn good product. And I remember when I was growing up as a little kid fishing and stuff like that, and all I ever wanted was my own tinny. And uh, took me years to get my little tinny, but I got it. And I reckon it's every man's dream to have his little tinny, or every fisherman's man, fisherman's dream, fisher person's dream to have a little tinny. 
And of course you can't forget the big boats they make. They make some awesome big boats. As you know, I've got that 6.8 metre Pursuit. There's a beautiful looking 6.8 sitting here right in the yard. Yeah, well that's it folks, that's the tour of the CJ factory. Remember, if you're looking for a tinny, have a chat to the boys at CJ, they make a damn good tinny. I've done some serious K's in their tinnies, and then great.